Hi everyone, this is the second video for lab multi-channel analyzer to study gamma rays. So this one I want to show you how to use the log approach to analyze the data. So the data actually are the graphs. So there are four graphs here and I will upload another one later for zinc because Dr. Walling is still collecting data for that one and it, it takes over 24 hours to collect the data. So I will use the cesium 137 as an example. So this is the graph you will, you, you will use. And but at this moment, you I want you to save the image on your on your computer. And I already have it on my computer, so I don't I want to save it. So next step, let's find let's find the logger pro. Let's find my logger pro vernier software. Vernier software logger pro. Because I already have other program running, so we'll just check the start additional copy. And this is the black, um, so no signal here, empty. And to analyze, to, uh, to analyze the photo, you click insert, insert picture, picture with the photo analysis. So I have it on my desktop. Cesium 137. Okay. Open. Okay. So this is this is the plot. And you see the blue line. This is the, the horizontal axis of the multi-channel multi-channel analyzer. So the coordinate is the channel number. So the position of this peak is proportional to the energy. So the high energy high, the higher the energy, it will go to the right end of this axis. And the intensity the peak, the height of the peak is proportional to the intensity. So we are not interested in the intensity for this lab, and we just look for the, the channel number. So to do that, there are three steps. Oh, actually, before that, I want to mention, you see the radiation, there is the peak here, and there are also some low energy here. And toward the left end, they are mostly X-rays and also maybe some other low energy, low energy gamma rays. So these are due to the interaction of the original gamma ray with the atoms in the with the atoms in the in the detector, in the detector. So for example, at where the X-ray from, and you have a high energy gamma ray coming to this atom, and this high energy gamma ray could knock out the innermost electron and there will be empty spot the high outermost and then the high energy electron drop to the innermost orbit and there will be x-ray emitted and there could also be like a pair production and gamma ray can emit electron and positron so those electron and positron could also have interaction with those atom so that's the that's the radiation you see here, you see here, but we will only analyze the original gamma ray. So for cesium, there is only one gamma ray, and that's due to this peak. So we want to find out the channel number that correspond to this peak. So there are three steps. The first step is to set the origin. So on the right side of this graph, you see a few buttons, and if you click the third one, set orange and you move your mouse to to one point or the blue blue line you want to put the orange you can move around and the zero intersection will be where the first detection happened and you see the blue yellow dot you can click the yellow dot you can rotate the x-axis so that it match with the blue line now that looks good okay step one is done step two is to set the scale and to do that, we click the fourth one. You see the yellow horizontal ruler-like sign. Set scale. Click that, and move the mouse to the orange, and stretch it all the way to the right end of the blue line, and release it. So the distance from the left end to the right end is 256. This is determined by the analyzer itself, and the maximum channel number is 256. And the unit channel number. 
Very good. Step two is done. Step three is to add a dot. And to do that, you click the second button here, add a point. And you put the mouse along the line, you click it, you see there is one dot, and you see the coordinate is already on the, the logger pro. So you do that along the line, along the line. Theoretically, you we we want to analyze the peak only, but here I just want to make the plot look nicer. So I will include the peak as well as the other points so that you see the peak and you see there is no energy for a high channel number and there is a low energy radiation here. Okay, this part is good. Now let's move the graph away. And look at the look at logger pro. Now you see we see this uh, with uh, this energy pattern. And step two is done. Step three will be find the channel number. Basically, to find the horizontal coordinate of the peak. So to do that, you highlight the peak and click stat. We use this one pretty often. Click stat, and the stat tell us mean and max at 67.91 this is the coordinate we're looking for this is the channel number 67.91 corresponding to the cdm gamma ray this is the 67.92 now let's go back to our data table it's data table so previous i collected the data is about 63.03 For example, iPhone 65. Is that 65 or 67? Let me double check. Oh, actually, it's 67.91. Mm. So you might want to practice a few times, and uh, it's the essential part is where you choose the origin. And so make sure when you click away the graph, you can move this this panel to find the graph is here. So so you can make sure the so you see the error could be from where you choose the origin. And if you click here, the channel number will be different. So be very careful. Find the intersection where the first detection happened. And now you see when you move around the number, so there are some uncertainty here, and that's all right. You, as long as you know where that er where that error is from, and uh, so that's the channel number for CDM 137, and you can repeat this one for all other graphs. For the cobalt 60, and we know there are two gamma rays, so there are two peaks. So you analyze both both peaks, find a channel number. And we also have the unknown source, the salt, the, the base. And for the base, there will be three, three picks and the zinc 65. So you find all the channel number. The third video, I will talk about how to use the channel number and the known energy of this element to find the energy of the unknown element. See you later.